Here's the thing, growing up in Iceland, the reality of it is so different. It's a harsh place. There's no surf shops, and there's no guidebooks or webcams. The biggest issue here is that wind. That fickle North Atlantic wind. What I'm trying to say is, Iceland is an island in the middle of the very North Atlantic, where the wind is unpredictable at best, and lining up the wind's direction with a proper swell is a never-ending nightmare. Perfect waves with that beautiful offshore wind happen just as randomly as the gale force onshore wave destroying winds that makes one curse living on this island. That damn wind. This forsaken land is dominated by it. To me, that wind is like a drunkard 10 minutes before closing time. You never know what the bastard's up to. He could be in the throes of a calm alcohol stupor one minute, thrown into a fit of rage the next. And then, in a glimpse of pure brilliance and drunken unpredictability, he could be the most magnificent man in the room. But we'll deal with him later. Oh, another day of work. Odd jobs and chasing paper take up the majority of my time. Surf culture here is tiny. There's literally 20 or so of us that day by day we work our regular jobs dreaming of that perfect wind. My reality is a far cry from the hustle and bustle of the known surf world. As surfers in Iceland, we've had to get creative in how to live our lives. Take my friend Ellie for example. Ellie recently sold this big ass apartment in the city to move into a tiny, tiny house outside city limits, so he can afford to pay gas for surf adventures. As he says himself, he pretends to be a surf photographer just to create an excuse to chase waves. <laughs> The internet, the place of cats, bros, and hoes. I'll tell you one thing, checking the weather in Iceland is like an art form. It's always on. It's a vigilant search and research and starting all over again. It takes an interwebbed Hawkeye and a little luck to be a surfer in Iceland. That wind is fickle. The swells could be anywhere, anytime, but sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> Endless possibilities. This is my favorite part of surfing. Hitting the road. Anything can happen, but the wind, as usual, has something else in store for us. He 
such a turd. So many times I've rolled up to a break with perfect conditions, only to have the wind shift in the time it takes me to get my wetsuit on. It's back to the drawing board. Something I've learned in Iceland is if you keep the wheels outside the lines, something good is bound to happen. Back to the maps, the weather, the phone calls, road. ADD for me is an understatement. We're driving, we're driving, we're driving, then waterfall. For some reason, they grab me every time. With all the waterfalls in Iceland, it's hard to get anywhere, but we're entirely okay with that. After being countlessly interrupted by falling water, we found a little nugget of heaven. A waterfall, a sleepy wind, and some soft grass. We decided to call it home for the night. There's this ancient viking saying that I'm totally making up as we speak. That if you sleep under the stars and the lights of the north shine on you, there shall be good surf. Well, shall we? In typical Icelandic fashion, the wind got weird on us, and we moved into something that the wind has absolutely no say in. Having to stop for waterfalls is one thing. Glaciers are an entirely different beast. They're huge. 
and impossible to drive past. The best part of surfing in Iceland for me is simply the adventure. I never know what I'm going to find out here. With so much to explore, it's easy to forget about the wind. Nah. It's as if he's always been this big of a cream puff. Nah. Hey, fuck his hands, you know, fucker. Not the fucking pen again! <laughs> Big mouth. So we were forced inside to wait out the wind. For me, the first few hours of being stuck inside aren't the worst. But then time starts to drag. And more and more time goes by and that soul crushing boredom sets in. If I could only go surfing. It stays like this, where I dream of Hawaii or Indo. And then you look at reality and realize it's just as bad as before. So many cups of tea, so many card games. All of this waiting truly drives me insane. Come on, wind. I'm sorry I called you a cream puff. But what's wrong with you? Why are you always so angry and spiteful? The tiniest change in your attitude is all you need to do for us to get along great. I'd be more than happy to make a deal with you. But you're being impossible. It wouldn't take much, man. Skull struck a minute. And then it lined up because of our new friend, the wind. We finally found what we were looking for.
couple of days. Before we go home, there's one thing left to do. Yo, man! Today, we were lucky enough to greet the wind as an old friend. That's the thing. This is something I've discovered in Iceland. We all need each other. It's a small, harsh place where uncommon alliances must be made. And today, Ali and I will sit down with the wind. But as we all know, the wind can change his cooperative manner in seconds. And sometimes it's simply time to move on to the next adventure. Come on! <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> okay. <clears throat>